28 meanwhile reopened late last night. Part of the highway was shut down for a few hours due to a rock slide and some flooding there. There was more flooding north of 28 in Fox Chapel. Lisa Washington is in Fox Chapel with the latest on the situation there. Heather, we are along Delafield Road here in Fox Chapel. In fact, if you're coming off of Route 28 into Fox Chapel onto Delafield Road, that's where you will see that this road is closed. And take a look. I'm going to show you why we've been telling you all morning it's closed, simply because the uh, d amount of damage after last night's flooding, you can see where the road there just sort of buckled and the pavement is broken in many spots. We spoke to a couple of uh, bikers this morning. There are bicyclists. One of them actually popped a tire this morning just dra tr riding his bike along Delafield. Road. And you can see one family had to take things out of their home and put them onto the curb. They had significant damage following last night's flooding and lost some of their valuables inside their home. That was a similar case, not only at some homes, but businesses as well here in Fox Chapel. Take a look now at some video from the Fox Chapel Racket Club. You're looking at what is the pool area of the Racket Club, and you can see there was lots of flooding there, just covered by those flood waters. We heard Ron say this area had about three inches of rain last night in that significant flooding and the damage. Also on Squaw Run Road here in Fox Chapel, some drivers were trapped in their vehicles as the floodwaters rose. Drivers and passengers had to be rescued. We spoke to the commander of the Fox Wall EMS. He described the situation last evening. We do see the creek rise uh, often when we have uh, rain issues and when we have water flow issues, but this is the worst I've seen this year so far. And those are the same sentiments we were hearing from a lot of people that they haven't seen it this bad in quite some time. The Allegheny County Swiftwater Rescue Team had crews come in to help rescue people from those vehicles, those who were trapped along Squaw Run Road, as well as some people who had to be evacuated from their homes because of all of the damage. This was significant flooding because it happened in such a short amount of time. People just weren't prepared. They weren't expecting this, so they did not know what to anticipate when the floodwaters began rising. We'll be out here throughout the morning to continue to bring you updates. But again, many streets and roads closed in the Fox Chapel area this morning, the result of last night's flooding. We're reporting live. I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA TV Morning News.